Poison? Yeah, you heard me. And it was found in Rebecca Hammond's barn. Now, this goes beyond rustling. I want something done about this. In her barn, you say? She ought to be more careful than that. Here, I'll just take that for evidence. You take it. You take it the hard way. <laughs> you listen here. I'm the sheriff. And if I say I want that for evidence, then I'll take it for evidence. Ain't that right, Big Ed? Tell me, are you a betting man, Mr. Knight? Yeah. You see that bucking bronc over there? Well, that thing, I thought that went out with the hula hoop. I'll bet that Lance can stay on that longer than you. And if he doesn't? Then you walk out of here with the evidence. Of course, you can always walk out of here right now without it. Well, let's go for a ride. Uh, guests first. Uh, Brother Alfred will do the honors. <laughs> Hang on to this for me, will you? Mm -hmm. Michael, be careful. I've seen real-life cowboys break their back on that Bronco. Real cowboys? Rodeo champs. Rodeo champs? Snapped right in two. In two. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Right in, cowboy! Pizza cake. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds? That's right. Oh. Let her rip. Right him, Lance. Right him, baby. Who are they kidding? He's got more of a chance of falling asleep than falling off. Ten seconds. Ten seconds are still dancing. Hey, partner, there's a Bronco in here who needs a little bit more juice. Coming right up. Bronco night. Thanks, buddy. Big it. Yeah? I think I figured out another way to get rid of Rebecca Hammond. Once and for all. Good idea, Brother Alfred. Meantime, I got some house cleaning of my own. Michael, why do I get the feeling that Home on the Range wasn't written with us in mind? Oh, I hear you, pal. If I ever catch you in Sage City again, you'll be singing up on Boot Hill. Maybe we got someone else on our side. Yeah? Well, for your information, Sage City is Boot Hill. Marilyn? There's a bus pulling out of here in 10 minutes, and I'm going to be on it. You won't miss it. Promise. Well? Tell me what you know about Big Ed Barton. 
He's a rat. What more do you want to know? Why is this rat so anxious to move Rebecca Hammond off her ranch? I'm not sure, but I think it has something to do with those kids. Yeah, well, I don't. Have you heard anything about this unified ranch corporation? Yeah, I think I heard Big Ed and his brothers talking about it once. Do you remember anything they said? No. But look, if you want to find out about Big Ed, why don't you just take a little peek inside of his safe? Safe? In his office behind the saloon. Being a crook himself, Big Ed doesn't trust the banks. Keeps his entire life locked inside that safe. OK. Thanks. Well, I got a bus to catch. Yeah. You, uh, you know where to? Yeah, wherever it's going. <laughs> See you around, Michael. As in night. Take care, Marilyn. As in Monroe. Yeah, we got to get in Big Ed Barton's safe. In broad daylight, Michael, even the most desperate desperado, is something wrong? There's a puddle on the ground where the bus was parked. What do you make of that? Michael, it's brake fluid, and I also detect some steel filings on the ground. Oh, no. Brake lines are cut. <laughs> 